And we're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry. But sorry to both of you <laughs> that just sat there with the <laughs> thing on pause, but we had to go take a break. I don't know. Maybe we'll all allow smoking in the house <laughs> for the times that we're doing this. Okay, so uh, you've played through a little bit of Doom here. I've not really been watching you because I've been L yeah. looking at stuff online, but uh, giving us stuff to talk about. But you mentioned that you wanted to talk about uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Right, um, because because uh, you had mentioned earlier, uh, when was the official release? I'm not sure when the official release date is. I can find out. But, like, Jonah Ray is going to be involved, and I, I do love Jonah Ray. His stand-up is really good, and he's good on, like, At Midnight and just everything with Chris Hardwick. When am I going to get that double jump thing? Um, it'll make you get it. Oh, you're in hell! You'll get it soon. I think that's one of the things you're actually going to what? find in this mission is the double jump boots. Imps before the time. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so Mystery Science Theater 3000. Now, what is... When did you first watch Mystery Science Theater 3000? Uh, I have not seen very many of them, but I was a kid, you know, and just the whole... The... Just the spectacle of all the terrible movies mm -hmm. and just razzing the shit out of them. I loved it. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing a uh, release date. I mean, it's saying November 24th, 1988, so that's the first episode. Uh, let's see. Uh, search it. I'll search Netflix. Um, I first saw Mystery Science Theater 3000. It was weird how I kind of came across it. I had heard about it. Um, Let's see, 18 hours or 18 hours ago from the AV Club writes that Mystery Science Theater 3000 announces Netflix debut, new writers and returning cast. Um, let's see. <laughs> Rocket launcher. I'm not seeing a date. Hmm. but that it's going to be on uh, Netflix, which is good. Okay, so Mystery Science Theater 3000, for me, I discovered it when I was in high school. And when I lived in uh, Harrison, Arkansas, we didn't have Comedy Central, but Mystery Science Th Theater 3000 was actually syndicated. It was cut up into hour-long episodes and it was called the Mystery Science Theater Hour, okay? And how it, how it was uh, packaged for syndication was Mike Nelson would wear makeup to make himself look like an old man, and he would introduce the episodes of the Mystery Science Theater Hour, and it was basically made to look like kind of a... I, I want to say masterpiece theater, but not really. <laughs> where he would, it was it looked very old school, very low budget, and he would come out on a on a tele, on a really cheaply made set, and he was like, "Welcome to the Mystery Science Theater Hour." In this Fuck. episode, our heroes watch this movie and kind of thing. And then it would go into the uh, regular opening of Mystery Science Theater, right? So, but it was the old episodes, like with Joel, and not with Mike. Mm. So that's when I first saw it, and I just happened to be up late, and it was a just a basic cable channel that played it maybe around midnight, mm -hmm. was the Mystery Science Theater Hour. So I remember watching it late one night, and the very first episode that it was was The Amazing Colossal Man. <laughs> and I loved it, And but I had to wait till next week, because it would play on Saturday nights, I'd have to wait until the following week to watch the the second part of the episode, instead of seeing the whole movie in one episode. Um, so I loved it, and what I did was I had a VCR, and I would program it to record it every night, because normally I would be in bed. My parents didn't really let me stay up very late to watch these kind of things. Right. And I just kind of fell in love with it. I joined the Mystery Science Theater fan club, and I used to get their newsletter. <laughs> and then I subscribed via Columbia House back in the day, and I would yeah. get a VHS every month of one of their movies. 
Uh, the first one being uh, pot.